Um, good evening, everyone. Can I, <coughs> pardon me, on the behalf of the members of the um, Row on Row Shankle Remembers uh, Steering Group, welcome everyone to this event this evening. This is now the third night uh, that we've held this, and this will run from now until the 11th of November, with the exception of tomorrow night when the um, roll call will be presented at the Festival of Remembrance in the Spectrum Centre at half past seven, and you're all very welcome to attend. Uh, this event <coughs> is an opportunity for us as a community to come together to pay our respects to those um, from the First World War, Second World War and subsequent conflicts who made the supreme sacrifice, who laid down their lives uh, so that we would have um, the, the opportunity to live our lives in peace. The program is very simple. There will be an opening prayer and tonight that is being conducted by Wesley McCready, one of the elders from Polygon Martin Presbyterian Church. There will be a roll call um, and tonight the roll call is being uh, read by members of the youth club from uh, Shankill Alternatives. There will be the act of remembrance um, and following that the playing of the last post. And tonight um, I'd just like to say first of all thank you very much um, to James Scott who is a member of the uh, Northern Ireland branch of the King's Own Scottish Borders Association and he's going to play the last post on a fife. So um, looking forward to that. There'll then be a si the silence and the reading of the Kehima Epitaph. Thank you very much. Can I introduce Wesley McCready? As we come here in this act of remembrance, shall we just bow in a word of prayer? O God, our loving and eternal Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of coming here to this memorial garden to give thanks for those who fought in two world wars and in our own conflicts here. Remembering those, the families of those who give their all, that you and I might have a better life to live. Remember too those of our security forces here that have been murdered. And we thank you for this area of the Greater Shankill. We thank you for the people from the Shankill Road and surrounding district that give the call when the call came out from Canaan country to serve our crime. Heavenly Father, we thank you indeed for those who give their all that we might live. And as we go forward, we remember our land that we live in in this area. We pray for all our security, for the Army, for the Ulster Defence and Royal Irish Regiment. We thank you for our members of our police force and its reserve. We thank you for all they do. Remember to those especially in the nursing profession and those along the coast our coast guards, etc. Remember only our fire and ambulance service, but most of all, we thank you, God, for your goodness. They give their all that we may have a better land to live in. Heavenly Father, guide us, direct us, and protect us in the days that lie ahead, for we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. George Baxter, 4536, Private, 2nd Battalion, Royal Enniskillen Fusiliers. He was killed in action on the 16th May 1915, aged 21 years. He lived at 27 Mount Joy Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. Date of Bailey, 14050, Rifleman, 15th Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles. He was killed in action on the 23rd November 1917. He lived at 20 Emerson Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. Thomas Rice, 57697, Acting Sergeant, 122nd Field Company, Royal Engineers. He died of wounds on the 7th of August 1917, aged 23 years. He lived at 23 Jaffrey Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. James Starrett, 45548, Rifleman, 12th Battalion. Royal Irish Rifles. He was killed in action 21st of March 1918. He lived at 104 Fording Gale Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. James Quinn, 
13407, Rifleman 9th Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles. He was killed in action on the 1st of July 1916. He lived at 280 Conway Street, Shanker Road, Belfast. William Vance, 3393, Corporal, 1st Battalion, Royal Enniskillen Rifles, the oh, Fusilier, sorry. He died of wounds on the 20th of February 1917, aged 22 years. He lived at 16 Glentilt Street, Shangle Road, Belfast. There were two MacArthur brothers, Alexander MacArthur, 9652, Private, 1st Battalion, Royal Enniskillen Fusiliers. He was killed in action on the 7th of June 1915, aged just 25 years. George MacArthur, 13054, Private, 8th Battalion, Royal Irish Rifles. He was killed in action on the 2nd of July, 1916. They both lived at 53 Bonnet Street, Shankill Road, Belfast. They shall grow not old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not worry them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we give our today. On behalf of, alter on behalf of Alternatives, I would like to thank the Row on Row Committee for allowing us to do this. Um, that's it folks, thank you very much for uh, turning up tonight. Um, but I can just remind you that the uh, event is tomorrow night in the Spectrum Centre at 7.30 um, and you'll be very welcome. Thank you.